Hello and welcome back. Today I have a battery tester electronic load and it is from uh, A-Torch and it is the DLB600 and it is based on DL24MP. I already like the DL24 a lot. It is the one here we have a closer look uh, later. Uh, I like because of the battery testing program that was in it is really perfect you can just leave it running and you set your levels and when it's discharged it just provides you with the value on here it is close by it has proper big connectors it is uh, up to 200 volts 40 amps 600 watts so it is actually also very nice to use as an uh, electronic load, but my main purpose was uh, to have it for uh, battery testing. Here is the DL24. I liked it a lot because of the battery test program, but at some point this will break. So I wanted to build it in some sort of a housing, but everything in this, this certain DL24 module the display is fixed on the PCB, so this will, this will be very difficult to build in a nice housing. And here they put it already nicely. Uh, as I said, it is built on the DL24M version, the modular one, and this is the P, the purple. And uh, the nice thing about the kit is that the display is separate. Um, all the connectors, of course, you can just put outside. The buttons are also in the display instead of on the PCB. So this is very easy to build yourself. I'm lazy, so I built a pre-built one. Well, there could be some confusion about all the type numbers that they have because they are all called uh, DL24. Only this is the normal DL24, but the latest that is available. You can see that because the Bluetooth module is on the main PCB. Well, this one is in the version uh, DL24, but there is also DL24 uh, slash P, and that is up to 180 watts. And then you have the, the modular ones. Um, you can have then the main unit and the ventilator unit, and with the display separate. And then you can just add modules up to 600 uh, watts. Those are the DL24M. Those are in green. That is the first version. I think very shortly there has been a, a red version. And then you have the black and the purple. And the purple is the latest one. Um, the, the green and the red have only one FET per module for 150 watt. While the black and the purple have four FETs. So that is probably more durable with this one. So before we start playing with all the batteries that were provided by XSTAR and uh, with the mini mixer, you can just mix everything, charge it all at the same time. It's perfect. Thank you for that. We're gonna have a look inside here. I already opened it. As I said, it is based on the MP version, the modular purple Here we have the main unit. It is the purple, it is the latest. Uh, so also uh, four fats on it per 150 watt uh, module. We have uh, two here and of course we have two layers. So that means 600 watt. If you're looking for one of these or to build yourself, make sure it is the purple one. The purple one is the latest. Uh, while the black and the purple both have four fits per 150 watt module, the purple has on top of that better ventilation uh, temperature controls instead of just blowing full power. It can do firmware updates and even with the latest firmware, it can go up to 1200 watts. So that is crazy. About the firmware updates, you can do that with the purple mainboard, with the MP in this case. Um, it came in version uh, 2.0, and the latest version that is available is 2.1. So I will do that upright, and then you have a nice manual to see how I did that. 
Um, the menu is a little bit confusing. It, you would almost think that uh, all these DL24s uh, have the possibility to do firmware updates. In the software, it almost looked that, uh, also looks like that. But it is in the end, it is not. I uh, ask the people from ATorch and they say, no, this is the latest one with the Bluetooth module. It comes with 5.1 and it is not upgradable. It is not possible. Only this one, the DL24 MP, the purple, is possible. And I did that. The update process is actually kind of cool because it just goes over the air with uh, Bluetooth. And you need to find out a little bit how it works, but it actually is. So I will have that later in the, well, the DLB600. Let's have a better look. On off switch in the front. Perfect. So we don't need to worry about uh, reaching in the back here. Um, here we have the buttons uh, up, down menu and accept and the same can be done with the encoder which is actually pretty nice constant current constant voltage let me see if i can zoom in a little bit more constant voltage constant resistance constant power and that is it apparently Battery test. There is an extra battery test program. Power test. Oh, pretty cool. I didn't even know. Well, let's just keep it to constant current and we can do some basic testing. Here we have the, the rail connector. And you can see that here. The load goes on the outside, and here we have the sense wires. Why does sense wires also have these big, big connectors? I'm not sure. Maybe it was just easier to do so. Oh, my power connector is a little bit loose, I see. Um, this connector is exactly the same as we had here. So you can add the USB connectors if you want to test the uh, power banks. Uh, or if you have the battery, uh, special battery adapter, you can just add that also in here. Or you do that with some extra wires. And then you can test directly your batteries. But if you want to use it as an electronic load, this is of course very convenient to have. Well, I must say that the power plug actually look pretty good. Look at this. This can... I, I really trust that this can do 40 amps. The only thing is if you want to use it without sense wires, it's a little bit difficult because there is not a switch that you can switch it over. So you need to short it here or just short it here, here in the top. Uh, I will be using it without, so I will just short them. But I think I have also this USB adapter that already shorts that. It came with all kinds of accessories. So probably the short is already in here. So if I just put this in, it will probably work without doing things. Okay, so let's put some serious cables in. So I have a 40 amp power supply here. Let's try to set it around. 10 volts. Okay, uh, this is now 100 milliamps. Let's see if this uh, works now. No. Current, yeah. So, uh, with this uh, little PCB inside here, we have sort of shorted the sense uh, wires. Um, so, that is good. We can only use now the big cables. And uh, I don't know, it's uh, AW6 or 8. It is uh, very thick. So let's see, it's 100 milliamps. And the trick with the sense wires works because now we have 100. That is not so interesting. So let's see if we can change it. Let me get the cursor 
hair in the full length then a still silent the power supply doesn't make too much noise the electronic load itself also doesn't make too much noise let's go to 2 amps 3 amps 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 and now it starts to the noise is not that bad compared to my power rod and uh, how many watts are we doing now 100 so we should go a lot higher go to 20 amps no problem the noise is okay okay let's go to the full 40 amps then Thirty. I think a few more ventilators are now uh, running. It's now blowing faster. It's nicely controlled. It is just a proper electronic load. Forty amps, full power. Look at that. Maybe we can increase the voltage a little bit. Six hundred watts. What if we do constant resistance? Then it's to one ohm. Then at 10 volts, I probably should have around 10 amps. Yes, I have. Let's lower the current. Let's uh, lower the resistance. And You can see here that it is actually changing the resistance. I wonder what is the lowest. I can't go much lower because my power supply then the lower than the voltage look at that we are at point 0.1 ohms it can just do that can we go lower? Oh yeah. Wow, it goes to very low resistance. Yeah, now my power supply, of course, goes crazy then. Pretty cool. I think there was also something like the constant uh, power mode. Constant power. Constant 100 watt. It tries to keep it at 100 watts. We are at 2.8 volts, so that means we need 38 amps. But what if I increase the voltage? Then the, to keep the 100 watts. It should drop and it does so we should go to 10 volts to have 10 to have 100 watts yeah and if i go higher it should drop it seems to do that it's expected
But the main thing for me, of course, was that I just needed the battery testing, and I really liked the DL24. And this is just nice in a, in a nice housing. And well, all the functions just work exactly the same. So uh, I want to discharge with, let me see, let's say 200 milliamps. And uh, this charge timer, no, off, cut off, 0.8 volt, that is okay for the pen light. And is everything reset? No, it is not. So let's go to the menu. Then we can reset all the values. So all values to zero, and we start the battery test. And we just leave this run until it automatically comes to the cutoff voltage, and then we have a value. So I was actually looking for just for a proper battery tester, and I really liked the DL24, only it didn't have a housing, and I found one. I bought it in December during the Christmas time, and there were special promotions. So um, it was, I think, around 160 or 170, and then it comes in this nice housing, 600 watts, 40 amps, 200 volts. So not only battery tester, it's actually a, a pretty reasonable electronic loads as well. So now let me show you how to do a firmware update. Okay, I have the latest firmware here. It's 2.1. It is the latest. I'm using here the software version 201. But first, we need to try to get the Bluetooth working. It's Windows 10, so I will just say add Bluetooth device. It is still blinking on the device, so hopefully I can find it. Uh, this is not the way I said add Bluetooth device. I will cancel this and do it just here. Add the Bluetooth device, Bluetooth. Yes, I think it is this one. Or it is this one. Okay, it, it it's the SPP and it says here it is COM9. So if I connect, start now the software. English COM9. Am I connected or not? Yes, I can hear something beep when I do this. Okay, so that works. So I am connected. So what if I do update now? Will I completely break it? I go to my download folder. Official. This is the latest version. to connect maybe yeah that's because it is connected here so I exit here hopefully yes that is worked uh, I hope the speed is correct yeah it's doing something and my display is dark Okay, 90%, almost there. Display is still black on the device itself. Let's see what will happen. 
Yes, it is rebooting. It does start. Let's see if the update works. I think it was this button long. Then it's this button long. And yes, we have version 2.1. It worked. Cool. So that is the DLB 600 all updated to the latest version 2.1. Thank you for watching and hope to see you next time.